Okay. I am Major General Abdul Khalifa Ibrahim. I am the first commander of the multinational joint task force. Uh, my headquarters is in Jamena, Chad. And uh, the multinational joint task force is a coalition of about five countries uh, fighting the Boko Haram in the Lake Chad Basin region. Yes, uh, it has been a great privilege and a great honor also to attend the African Land Forces Summit for the year 2022 here in the United States and specifically in Columbus, Georgia, and then to also visit the Manuva Center of Excellence, that's uh, for Benin. Um, my horizon has been widened. Uh, the concepts I saw here, the training facilities, the methodology, I think added together uh, will impact positively on my command and then also on training and other aspects of military in my country, Nigeria. So I am very grateful to the United States Army, the Chief of Staff and uh, uh, other senior officers who made it possible for me to come and attend. We've been well taken care of right from the uh, first day we came. And uh, I think I look forward to coming another time or to have other senior officers from the MNJTF or from Nigeria coming. I think uh, it's a good one. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, Africa is a continent with about 54 countries, and uh, uh, sadly we have this division between uh, uh, French-speaking African countries, English-speaking African countries, Portuguese, and uh, here all of us are here together. So uh, we've been able to, to network, to share experiences, and uh, some of the commanders have also invited them if you can come over and see what we are doing. And then uh, we are Africans, so we look at uh, issues. How do we resolve these issues? So it has been worthwhile. The networking, the camaraderie, the friendship, it has all been very worthwhile. Yes, uh, we thank the United States military for hosting this, and uh, I think it's a brilliant idea. And I love the idea that uh, we don't stay in the class the whole day. We spend part of the day in the, uh, the plenary, and then we come out to the field. I think that's what it should be. And uh, that was a great demonstration. And also, uh, my ride in the helicopter was very nice, very interesting. Uh, and I think I need to have a certificate because I've been in Fort Benning for five days. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Appreciate thank it. you so much. I'm Major General Mitchell Laban. I'm from Australia and uh, the Commander Joint Force of the Republic of Australia Armed Forces. Sounds good. Yep. Okay, okay. All right. So we've been here almost a week. A lot of different nations. Uh, coming together. Uh, how has your experience been here? Uh, quite awesome and quite remarkable. I, uh, of course, this is my first time actually attending the service, so I'm quite impressed about everything the organization, the planning, and the kind of efforts that have been put into it. I'm quite impressed. Quite impressed. What would you, uh, have you got to meet the different uh, partners here? How's, how's your experience? Uh, yes. Um, it, it it's, has been about uh, networking, and uh, since this is my first time of attending this summit, I've had the opportunity to meet new commanders from across Africa, made new friends, network a lot. Um, it, it has been very impressive and remarkable. In regards to the uh, one of the themes that talked about the the NCO for the non-commissioned officer for uh, what? 
what did you take out of that? Remember the NCOs, the non commission the commission officers called those are the building blocks, the building foundation of any army you, 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 you think about. So I think I like that aspect that was included in this uh, summit because uh, without them actually you cannot have a good, good army. We have to rely on them to do the work for us. And uh, as I said earlier on, if you give them what they deserve, then they will give us what we want. So it was good that the package was included in this, in this program. And uh, you think you'll be coming next year, maybe? Uh, that I don't know. That could be political because maybe by next year I might not be in the, in the post. But if at all I'm around, then it's still I'll stick with. And uh, so, if you were, if you were to go back, and uh, what, what what are you going to take back to your 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 soldiers and your your leadership? Uh, a lot, a lot actually. First, uh, it's has been an impressive moment for all of us. Uh, the interactions, the networking, and the, the resilience part of because uh, first of all, I like even the team that was crafted that uh, resilient institution build resilient leaders. So those kind of teams, I will take along and uh, pass on to my colleagues and uh, soldiers. Excellent. All right. Well, is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, first of all, I want to thank the organizers of the program, particularly the uh, General Rollins and uh, the rest of the crew, the rest of the team, that has been an awesome moment for all of us. And also the United States government for giving us the opportunity to be around. Uh, we look forward to having such summit, some such for us in the future. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Let me get the microphone from you. Your, uh, your name, sir? Okay. Uh, my name is... Uh, Brigadier General Noir Verist from Burundi, from I'm the Land Force Commander of the uh, Burundi National Defense Force. All right, so you've been here for almost a week, five days. How has ALPS been your experience? Thank you for that question. Uh, one week here in uh, Africa and for summit, I have met many things. I, I have the experience on uh, how to train the non commission officer according to their role, the very important role in the army. On these issues, I can tell that the same in uh, our country. Because we train non commissioned officer for a long time because we know they are important. How they will train others so they are trainers. For example, in our country, we train uh, uh, the officer. The training is for basic is two years, and for those who are have speciality, for example, engineer on the level, we we train them again for three years. For the others, four years. For example. The non commissioned officer in the Air Force is trained eight years to be appointed or now some in some services in the Air Force. In summary, we take care to train non commissioned officer because we, we know they are very important for they will train the others. Other things. I have seen the issue of uh, is far. I have a very good experience with these issues of SFAR. I've been contingent commander in Somalia. At that time, 
I have some advisors, officers come from USA and it was not easy this operation and but having advisors from USA Army officers in logistics for example how to organize the transmission, transmission at engineer I have succeeded and I know the, the, the importance of SFAB. Uh, I noted this summit. I can see, I can say that it is very important for me. And I will share, I will share with uh, my headquarter, Red Renfors in the room. I will share with this experience with the, the headquarter. The headquarter, the head force, the, head, the, head, the, the general headquarter. Because I have to report, I have to win because this experience. Third, the issue of the command in future. It is very important. The experience is, uh, I've seen that. We have to prepare the command institute. We know that they will be very complex. They will, will have a problem now. Not to be surprised. To prepare us, to prepare our leader for the, the future problem. If we know the future problem, if we plan, if we know what is what what, what can we face in the future? We prepare how we command our soldiers. That is very important. Uh, I can tell that uh, this summit has been very important for me as uh, Land Force Command in Burundi. And Uh, for example, it is very important to think and I emphasize on for the future because the complex situation will happen. We have to prepare on. Thank you very much. Is there anything else? Add? Anything else you want to add? Oh. For the rest, uh, I need, I, I hope, I hope, I hope we will, we will meet again in this summit and uh, think again, think again for our armies, our different countries. We have different problems because different countries, but the basic is to think, is to prepare. Not to be surprised by anything. Thank you.